Computational medicine is an emerging discipline in which clinical and experimental data are used to build computer models of disease. This institute was created in 2005 as the first institute of computational medicine in the world. And one thing that is special about this institute is the faculty. Dr. Michael Miller, he's known as the founding father of computational anatomy. Computational anatomy are basically equations that can generate human shape and form, and then once you can do that, of course, you can generate brains, or you can generate hearts, and then you can do prediction, and you can model them. We've been largely focusing on some models of neurodegeneration, uh, and we've been studying uh, both Alzheimer's disease and dementia, as well as Huntington's disease. Uh, and others, depression, uh, schizophrenia, and bipolar disorder. Simply, it's not one site that's affected, but it's a whole group of sites that seem to collaborate in some way or conspire to ultimately result in the clinical manifestation of your symptoms. So that's what's so much fun about computational medicine, because we're focused on networks of these kinds of effects. Doctors Sri Sarma, and Stan Anderson, uh, both work in the field of deep brain stimulation. So one of the interesting things about deep brain stimulation is even though it's been FDA approved for say the last 30 years, at least in the United States for Parkinson's disease, um, people still don't understand why it works. Modeling certainly helps us, number one, understand how it works, and then once we know how it works, maybe we can come up with better targets, better uh, stimulation signals to put in the brain, better ways. We work uh, closely uh, in yet another field of uh, neurology and neurosurgery and epilepsy primarily, uh, and we're both interested in uh, trying to optimize the way we go about figuring out where seizures are coming from in the human brain, and that's extremely important to us because uh, we will, can offer a patient a resection of that area if it's in a safe region of the brain to, uh, to operate on. So we, we really, as a surgeon, uh, we, we need to know precisely uh, what the boundaries of that region is. Uh, a computer algorithm might be able to see details that the human eye cannot. Uh, Dr. Natalia Trianova is um, an international leader in computational modeling of the function of the heart. Well, when you think about it, computational um, simulations have their commonplace in physics and engineering. Buildings are built with simulations only, cars are built that way, planes are built only by using simulations. We believe that computational approaches will make a um, big difference in medicine. It will bring a whole plethora of patient-specific approaches to human health, and we want to be the first that do that in cardiology. We can do modeling and we can play out scenarios and predict what will be the best way to deploy the device, the best way to approach a certain condition in the heart, what is the best treatment option for this specific patient. That's why it's so exciting, because of its specificity and because of the ability to be more very precise in leading therapies. I think computational medicine is the future of medicine because disease is simply too difficult to understand without the aid of mathematics or computation. Um, it's so complex that we can't construct intuitive mental models of how disease develops and how it progresses. We need to use computers to do that. We're out here, we love our work and we love collaboration and if anyone has interesting ideas we, we are very, would be very excited to uh, talk.